This video is an invitation to learn about this leading neorealist artist from Colombia. We invite you to watch this video until the end so you can find out how a talented and self-taught person became the leading artist in South America. He is Dario Ortiz Robledo, born September 12, 1968 in Embague, Colombia. He is a self-taught artist and is called the leading neorealist of our times. Ortiz graduated from the Colegio San Tarisio in Bogota in 1986. He studied history and art appreciation at Jorge Tadeo Lozano University between 1990 and 1991. Since 1995, he has been a contributor to the Ibaque newspaper El Nuevo Dia. Ortiz's publications include the books Oscar Rodriguez Noranjo, The Painter of Beauty, published in 1996, Neorealism, published in 2000, in collaboration with Carol Damien, and the essays Vasquez de Ars y Ceballos, drawings published in 2007, A Brief History of the Arts in the Territory of Tolima, published in 2007, and A Novel Painted, published in 2008. In 2003, Ortiz founded and is the head of the Museo de Arte del Tolimo in Ibaque. Ortiz is a well-known, respected Colombian neorealist artist known for his contemporary compositions based on classic subjects. He is a leading figure in the renaissance of contemporary narrative art in Latin America. His paintings are complex interplays of forms in space that document an emotional as well as a physical process and are as disturbing as they are convincing in their reality, said art critic Carol Damien, the director of the Frost Art Museum of Miami. The dandyism to Hollywood and modus solid classic that is reflected in him, I do not believe that it is possible to create it in this nation. Neorealism means the intimate study of nature, deliberate objective transposition, good craftsmanship, and a love of the medium. These, with a continued renewal with life, for example, a collaboration of the artist and nature, must result in a strong individual and interesting interpretation of life. Neorealism in painting was established by the ex-Camden Town Group painters, Charles Ginner and Harold Gilman, at the beginning of World War I. They set out to explore the spirit of their age through the shapes and colors of daily life. Their intentions were proclaimed in Ginner's Manifesto in New Age on January 1, 1914 which was also used as the preface to Gilman and Ginner's two-man exhibition that year. The Camden Town Group held just three exhibitions in 1911 to 1912, but its name has become synonymous with a distinctive period in the history of British art before the First World War. Named after the area in North London where a number of the artists lived and worked, the group aimed to reflect the realities of modern urban life. It attacked the academic and warned against the decorative aspect of imitators of post-impressionism. The term neorealism in the history of contemporary art arose to unite several art movements that appeared and developed throughout the 20th century. For example, the main themes of the Italian neorealist artworks were depicted in the life of the post-war country 
and the struggle of ordinary people for their rights. Artists who advocated humanism and equality, the value of simple moments of everyday life, saying about the heroism of their people, who desperately resisted fascism during the war years. Their works were characterized by a dynamic composition, expression, and saturated colors. The ideas of the new front of the arts were reflected in the works by artists from other countries, like the Mexican, Diego Rivera, the German, Fritz Kremer, and the Frenchman, André Fougueran. We believed Dario Ortiz of Colombia is a good and successful example in our times. Recently, Yoshiharu Sasaki, assistant director of the Awaki Art Museum de Japan, wrote, It would be possible to be said that the painting of Ortiz is Baroque of the contemporary time, constituted by the greatness and of a powerful subject, in addition, dramatic to a hidden tone, harmonizing with the privacy and the audacity of a traditional interpretation to the contemporary. Works of the Colombian artist Dario Ortiz is included in the collections of the Museum of Latin American Art in Los Angeles, California, the Presidential Palace of Bratislava in Slovakia, the Civic Museum of Obana Terme in Italy, the Museum of Antioquia in Medellin, the Museum of Modern Art of Cuenca, the Museum of Contemporary Art of Guayaquil, Ecuador, and the Museum of Contemporary Art of Bogota, among others. In 2003, he founded the Museum of the Art of Tolima, and since 2007, he has been a member of the Academy of History of Tolima. Ortiz divides his time between Bogota and New York. Thank you so much for watching our video. It means the world to us. See you in the following video.